What's going on? It's Ben here from Podcast Pros, and today we're walking through the podcast host, Dystopia. So Dystopia is a new player in the podcast hosting game, and they're bringing a ton of new features and a ton of innovation for podcasters, which is why I was so happy to sit down with their founder, Patrick, to provide this video for you. So we walk through all of the features they currently have and all the innovation they are bringing in the future to help you as a podcaster to grow your audience, make money from your show, and expand your whole media business. Because Dystopia is all about giving you innovative tools to help you do those things as easily as possible. So let's not waste any time. Let's hop right into Dystopia and hear from Patrick and all that the team is building and providing to you as a podcaster. Let's do it. If you want to try Dystopia out for yourself, there is a link in the description box and the pinned comment of this video. Hey, Ben, how you doing? So this is uh, the Dystopia main page. This is the first screen that you will see once you log into the app. Whether you're a free user, a creative user, or a creative plus user, it'll definitely let you know here under your name. Just First and foremost, a little history on Dystopia, where the name came from and why we focusing on music and podcasts and, and more podcasts at the moment is that a couple of years ago, one of my friends knocked on my door, asked me to burn him a CD. And I told him he was out of his mind. I'm not burning any CDs today <laughs> because one, people don't use CDs anymore and society is going past that. So what I did was I put him a website, I stopped the PayPal button on that thing. And um, within an hour of him just tweeting and Facebooking, he made about 200 and some dollars selling his mixtape. So that's what actually prompted the idea for me to create a company. And I named it Disc. So if you notice, it's Disc, like a CD disc in Topia. Awesome. So uh, that was like the short version of uh, that story. But that was pretty much the um, the premise of it. That's awesome. So, so a few years later, we decided to add a uh, podcast and podcast has actually gotten us more branding power or more recognition just because it's not oversaturated um, in the music streaming space, but Spotify, Apple, so on and so forth. So that's a real saturation point. So we really started leaning into the podcast side because it was giving us more and more branding power growth strategy. From that standpoint as a user you can't upload music and you can upload podcasts at the same time and we're going to go over that a little bit today i'm just going over the explorer screen and we do have music people have been uploading music they can even upload audio and or video as you see and we kind of delineate which one is which same thing for podcasts you can upload podcasts you do audio and as you can see some people are uploading video but the greatest thing about our hosting platform is that we've integrated shop. So the shop piece, which actually is a component from music, it's really hard to gain monetization right out the gate. But you may have some following within a podcast that may want to support you. So with Dystopia, you can actually integrate merch into your podcast page. So that's one of the biggest features that we have. Um, it's one of the features that is loved from day one it's since we, we've integrated it. So I'm gonna go to the podcast page here. And so it shows the things that you're following. It shows uh, any latest podcast, shows anything that you selected, latest podcast and music, culture and news. Those are my three topics that I select. So that's another thing about podcasting with Dystopia is that or twofold. You are not only do you have a hosting solution, but you also have a player, just like any other body in the system. You can upload and share, or you can just come as a fan and actually listen, browse over three million podcasts. We have every single one of them that is actually indexed properly through Pod Chasers or Podcast Index, and also you can listen to exclusive podcasts that are just here on our platforms. Let me go to my library next. Awesome. Any questions so far, Ben? Or no, I just love for you to continue to walk through what makes you guys different and the different features that if someone was were to host their podcast with Dystopia, why them and what are the features that makes it a great choice? So that, I mean, that's perfect because that's right where I'm leading to. So awesome. you can hit the upload button. And of course, you got music, podcast, merch, video, audio book. So you can act from day one. Your account allows you to upload all of them. Audio book is something new that we have added. We just threw it in there because that's what we do. We give more, the most. So we're trying to be a complete creative 
content. So not saying that you only do podcasts, but one day you might want to throw up a video. You might want to do, you know, a merch or audio book. And I'm going to create a new podcast here. We're going to call it a uh, test. And of course, you'll put your description in and Sophia. And then, of course, you get to select your category. Just like anything else, explicit, whether it's explicit or no, we're, we're going to keep it safe. Now, here's a key piece that makes us very different. And if you remember, I talked about us being a podcast app streaming player with music, podcasts, and videos, and also a podcast host. If you select yes for exclusive to Dystopia, we will actually pay you per play up to five cents. Now, hey, you want to know where we actually got that from? It actually comes from our music integration because legally we have to pay artists something per play. And since we actually pay our artists two cent per play, we actually decided to start paying our podcasters five cent per play and they still can keep their ads, sponsorships, anything else. But if you market exclusive. What does that mean if, if you're clicking exclusive to dystopia? Like what does that entail for the podcaster? So for the podcaster, that actually means that it is exclusively on Dystopia. It cannot be found anywhere else. Okay. So as a podcaster, you're going to say, oh, my goodness, that sounds crazy because this is podcasting. It should go everywhere. That's the type of feedback we get literally in that voice. <laughs> so we also tell them, say, hey, we understand you're growing. We're growing. So our user base may, is definitely not of the hundreds of millions of an Apple but what we started to know, podcasters are doing very well with behind the scenes content, bonus content. So episodes one, two, three, four is out to the world. But let's say we mark episode six as exclusive. And that one is a bonus episode where you actually go deeper into the topic or into episode um, or into the episode topic for that time. And you can mark that one exclusive and get paid for the streams. You can tell your audience, say, hey, you can listen to me everywhere, but uh, you can buy my merch and listen to all bonus content only on Dystopia. And so that is cool. how we're seeing podcasters really, especially new podcasters, ones that are out the gate, brand new. That's how we're seeing they're making up to 100 to 200 bucks per episode because they're marketing things exclusive, they're selling merch, they're, they're, they're doing it easily and combining it um, in one upload. Wow, so, so you can do this with certain episodes and that way you can get as much traffic over for the exclusive content to then make the money from that through making specific episodes exclusive to Dystopia. You don't have to make your whole show exclusive? No, you don't. So right now I'm click, I'm starting a podcast. So if I mark the exclusive here, yep. It's the entire podcast. So what you okay. want to do is from the podcast level, say no. Okay. Uh, when you're uploading each episode, you okay. want to mark the exclusive. Amazing. And once you do that, so this button won't let you continue until you fill out everything. Okay. So your actual image does need to be 14 by 1400. Um, I know a lot of podcasters, um, hosting companies allow you to upload smaller quality files, but we... Typically try not to do that because when Apple gets it, it really looks sharp on all the platforms. And that's just a tip, no matter if you host with us or not. Make sure your image is 1400 by 1400. Perfect. Then see, at that button's lit up. Now we hit save and continue. Now we actually have an RSS feed ready to go. You should then take that RSS feed, start sending it out later. But let's say we want to go ahead and add, and, and as you can see, it populated it in my library. So we're going to hit maybe later. As you can see, that podcast is here. We can actually edit episode, edit channel, delete an episode, so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is hit edit episode. We don't have any episodes, so hit OK. We're going to hit upload podcast new episode and we're going to pick the one we just uploaded we're going to do a trailer first so also here you can do single episode artwork that is you know that's pretty standard some people don't do it but the big guys usually do it the guys that's been around for a while could do that you do your episode title description and here you go. So you can mark just this episode exclusive to dystopia. And so we have some people that actually do unlisted which makes it really private. And what happens is, let's say they're doing a podcast that's educational or for their network of class or students or whatnot, they would actually mark it unlisted and exclusive so that only they have the link. Then send that link out to their class, knowing good and well that the class is going to listen to the full play <laughs> because they have to, because it's yeah. for class material. 
And so it, it's just many people are starting to just come up with weird use cases that work for their entrepreneurial creative um, strategies. And so that's what we're trying to do. Ben, as I told you earlier that, you know, we're just trying to give you a bucket and a shovel and allow you to dig your own gold. I love that. So that is the standard way. It gives you your detailed report or your RSS feed once again here. And it just shows you your RSS feed for that channel. And how there, many so, shows can you have on your account, like on your dystopia account? How many podcasts unlimited. can you host? Unlimited. You can have unlimited episodes, unlimited channels. And that's at our basic nine ninety nine account. Um, when you want to start integrating merch and doing videos, you have to upgrade to the $19 one. So if you like what you've seen so far, don't forget, if you do want to try Dystopia out for yourself, you can access a link in the description box and the pinned comment on this video. Let's get back into it. So I do want to talk about um, the apps real quick. Right now, these are the ones that we are working on diligently. If it doesn't have a coming soon or coming later on it, that means it's active. So custom domains, you can actually do custom domains and it takes you directly to the podcast page. So we can do ben.com and it'll take you directly to that podcast page. One thing that's already also available is, hey, we get it. You might not like our analytics. You can add on more. You can pick your own and, you know, put your track link and before or after. And that usually you can track as many times if you want to already. If you decide to leave, there's throw on redirect. We have audio ads. Let's say if you want to um, use some of our services to create an ad, a voiceover, you don't want to use your own voice. You want to use professional music, professional voiceovers, professional actors. It costs around $250 per ad, but you shouldn't have to make one ad. <laughs> if you can reuse it, that's great. But what happens is we use real human voice translations and voiceovers. You give us a script and then we'll actually create an ad for you and email it to you so you can add it into your, your next podcast. Awesome. Uh, we have dynamic ad insertion coming soon. And this is once you click this button, you'll have a kind of two or three vendors to pick from. So you can add on your own ad insertion. Audio to text, that's a big one that we're adding on. We're going to be probably the cheapest in the game. It's going to be 10 cent, 10 cent per hour. So we are really working on that. And or you could do unlimited for $20 a month. Amazing. So that's for transcriptions from your episodes? Yeah, that's for transcriptions. And let me make sure I gave you that exact word correct. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I said per hour. It's 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 10 cent per minute. Okay. That sounds 10 right. Cent yeah. Per yeah. minute, or you can do twenty dollars for the unlimited bundle. So amazing. I would always tell people if you do a lot of transcribing or you need it for your audience, then just do the twenty dollars for unlimited. For sure. It's gonna cost you around six bucks per episode. Cause that's about an hour. Mm. Six bucks for about an hour. Um which is actually uh, fairly cheap compared to our competitors. Most Absolutely. of our competitors are around 25 cent a minute, 20 cent a minute. And so we're 50% we're cheaper than, than the lowest rate out there. Awesome. As far as music, just because this is really cool, we're going to give this to podcasters too. So what we're going to do is, um, this is really cool, where you can click this button and it'll go through all your listens and tell you where you should do a live show at. That's so awesome. If, all, if, all, if most of your audience, sometimes you kind of know where your audience is because let's say if you're in Charlotte and you promote in Charlotte, you're going to get, it's going to tell you to go to Charlotte. But let's say you have a pretty big podcast and you hit Matt your tour. So say, hey man, most of your, your audience is coming from Tampa. You may want to go to Tampa and here's a list of venues that are already pre-selected for you. I could see that being used for podcasters too, especially like comedy Podcasts and things like that nature, they do live shows all the time. That'd be amazing. Yeah. So um, we may reorganize this not by type, but by actually what you're trying to do. Value for value is going to be really big. You can get paid from your audience in Bitcoin. Cool. Um, that's a nice integration that we're doing. And what um, studios? I didn't. Oh, oh, so studios is when you, um, this is actually going to be coming very soon. You're going to really click on that and find a studio local to you. And it'll direct you. It'll, you click a link and it'll take you straight to their studio where you can purchase rent. A studio wow, but we're really cool. trying to give you all the shovels and buckets you can handle <laughs> yeah that's amazing <laughs> for branding and merch we're gonna so we understand that you can sell but let's say you're going on a trip and you need to order 15 shirts you can order wholesale at a cheaper rate you can let's say there's something that we don't do and like bun like uh, pins or jean jackets like you don't believe the request that we get <laughs> homemade sweaters you'll be able to send that to us take a picture of it, and then we will actually automatically put that in your store for you. Wow. And when someone purchased that, we'll ship it out for you. Keyword generator, short links. This would be like a link tree 
we're actually going to give this away to every account holder. And this is just because we feel like you shouldn't have to pay nine bucks for Linktree and then turn around and have to pay nine bucks to a podcast host. It should all be one. Linktree is like, that actually technology is some of the cheapest technology you can get. It's just a link yeah. with, a, with a link to another link. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. <laughs> all right. Uh, we do plan on integrating with Hub, um, MailChimp and HubSpot for bigger podcasts that want to email and, and do other business. Of course, you have YouTube. This is going to be big for our video integration. Yeah. Because um, right now, if you upload a video, we automatically take the audio and add it to your feed, which is really cool that you can have one spot to upload your video. And then it goes to your the audio, goes to your feed. And then the next side, it automatically goes to YouTube. Could just imagine uploading one video it automatically goes to your feed. It automatically gets transcribed. It automatically uh, sets up the keyword generations, goes to your short links and goes to YouTube. Because when you create short links, and everything gets uploaded in one spot, it automatically updates those short links for you. And you don't have to keep updating Linktree. It automatically goes to Instagram. It automatically goes to Twitter. So these are things that we're building and are coming soon. Last but not least, one thing that we're going to do is give podcasters and artists or creatives the option to do custom subscriptions. So whether your audience already has a dystopia subscription or whether your audience already comes in um, through someone else, like free. They can come here kind of like Apple podcast subscriptions. You can set your own subscription and we take no commissions. That's the wow. biggest part is that we won't take any commissions because you're already paying us to host it. Mm -hmm. I'm already doing my job from a technology provider. There's no need for me to in encroach in on your subscription prices. Team members optionize out the bottom too. So is that just so that you can add multiple people to help you run your show? Right. So we do have an agency plan. Um, which is nine ninety nine, uh, but it automatically comes with seven team members. Wow. So let's say you have Creative Plus nineteen ninety nine, but it's a small shop of two people. Would allow you to add additional team members, which is almost essentially getting two two new creative accounts because everyone in our system has their own account. It's just they have access to the master library. Okay, so they can help upload things. So like you know, you have a team that helps record and edit. If you don't have time to do the uploads, come in and set things and do that, you can share that that access with them. And you guys have kind of a master library where you can upload not only just podcasts, but music videos and other things. That's so awesome. when to do your merch, maybe you want to share this account with your designer mm. so that, that you approve the designs, they go and create merch. That's so cool. And so for anybody who wants to, to listen to podcasts on Dystopia, where can they download the app? Is it available in both Apple and Android? Yeah, both yeah, both Apple and Android stores. Music, podcasts, videos, audiobooks, and merch right here, all in the store for you. Amazing. Right okay. now, it's just for consumption. We're thinking about um, building a separate app or at least giving us some analytics inside that app if you cool. do have something hosted with us. But right now, this is purely for your fans. And that's the best way because the main thing is like, I can't ask you to make something exclusive even though I am paying you a fair rate, but I have to also give you the tools to help make it. Like, hey, how are you gonna make it exclusive if you don't give me an app for my users? Yeah. How, are you gonna, how are you gonna give me all this merch stuff you don't make it easier for my users to buy the shirt? Yes. You know, so that's what we realize that, oh man, we really have to jump into this and not just be a host, but become a platform. Amazing. And that's where the biggest thing is, is like you have platforms buying up hosts, i.e. Spotify buying up Megaphone and um, Anchor. Mm -hmm. Or if it's iHeart, Vine, and I think they bought Spreaker. Yes. Or you have like some of our competitors like Lipson that don't have a full front facing application dedicated to fans. It's kind of a little bit of both. It's like, hey, and they're only sticking with podcasters. And we all know that fans, even though they love podcasting, you got to really think bigger and long term vision. So that's what we've been doing. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah. And if it's available everywhere, it's pretty easy to get. If anything, you know, if you don't decide to jump off that shit now, definitely follow us on socials just in case we add a feature. I do want to talk about one quick feature in yeah, my cool. library. When you go to upload and you click on podcast, you actually can migrate a podcast. So you that's one step um, migration. You just put your RSS feed in there. We'll go grab them from another host okay. and then we'll tell you exactly how to get them to read. It. We'll see you an email. 
or how to do a 301 redirect with your current host. All plans come with analytics. Anytime you upload comes with analytics. We tell you payouts, your music, um, your podcast, playouts. Clearly, we just uploaded something, but so yeah, yeah. We did my platform, Apple, Spotify, we give you the world map where you hot at your new listens versus your returning listeners. Cool. That's really powerful. Um, and then we tell you what you're so that's one great thing about dystopia. And this I'm glad you asked me that, Ben. You're smart, you're good at what you do. <laughs> Appreciate you. Our proprietary system does allow to tell people what's the difference between a total play, a preview play, a play, and a true play. So a lot of podcasters, and this actually protects a lot of people says, well, why would I want to tell my sponsor the difference? I just tell them I got 10,000 plays and they, and they say, oh, great, 2,000 plays. And then an advertiser will say, you know, well, out of those 10,000 plays, what's the highest engagement? So we're really, we're trying to protect both parties. From an advertiser standpoint, you don't want to give someone $10,000 for 10,000 plays and all those plays are less than a minute or at a minute or even two minutes. Two minutes is not a podcast. That's a song. Exactly. Um, so as a sponsor, you're like, why would I pay that much? And they're right. You wouldn't want to pay that. But as a podcaster, you're like, look, here are my total plays. I have 10,000, so on and so forth. But if a, if a podcaster is actually smart and they're a good podcast, they can actually go to an advertiser and says, well, I have 10,000 plays, but I really need $20,000. And they'll say, why? Because 25% of my audience are true plays. They're high engagement plays, meaning your product would do better on my podcast than any other podcast mm. because of the demographic. And I'm just not going to sugarcoat that, you know, or by God, don't get a true crime podcast where they're because we've seen some true crime podcasts that are hosted with us. Their engagement rate is really high because you have to listen to the end. Mm, makes makes it a true play, you know. So that's why true, true crime podcasts is typically do get a high amount of for their sponsorship. They probably can get higher with us because they can actually break it down for a sponsor. Prove that. Yeah. So, so what is the, what are the differences between like what what's deemed a preview, what's deemed a play, and then what's a true play? That's a great question. So we do it based on percentages plays. A preview is anything less than 15%. A true play is anything greater than 75%. And anything in between is a is a standard play. Do you think that's everything that uh a potential podcaster should know about dystopia? Yeah, man. We're pound for pound, one of the best out. Yeah. That's all. No. 100%. I was excited for this because I think what you guys are doing is awesome. And it, we've been long overdue for some innovators. So I'm excited to see you in here crushing it. Yeah, we're actually um, premiering um, in March at uh, Podcast Movement in Las Vegas in 2023. Um, we're actually going to go real deep into our analytics and how we came up with this and why. This is, we're going really deep into what I just explained to you, a podcast versus an advertiser. I, I look forward to following along with that and probably making some videos on it. So th thanks so much, man. It was, it was right. a pleasure to speak with you, Patrick. And yeah, everyone watching this, go check out Dystopia's socials. I'll link them down in the description box of this video. And if you do want to sign up for Dystopia, there's a link in the description box as well as the pinned comment. So go ahead and use that to sign up.